As the Southern Baptist Convention begins its annual meeting in New Orleans today, the denomination is dealing with a historic drop in membership and a heated debate over women pastors. Charlene Aaron has a story. The nation's largest Protestant denomination has seen a decline in membership for years and a drop in the overall number of congregations. This comes as debate about women pastors in the Southern Baptist Convention reaches a boiling point. Former Saddleback Church pastor Rick Warren recently issued a tough challenge to the denomination, calling it out for what he calls hypocrisy when it comes to the role of women in the church. Earlier this year, the SBC's executive committee ousted five churches, including Saddleback, for having women pastors. Saddleback is challenging that, with Warren expected to make a formal appeal at the SBC's annual meeting in New Orleans. That controversy, plus the membership decline, are pressing on Southern Baptists right now. I've been talking about this for years. We have to expect it. Statistics from 2022 show the number of members in Southern Baptist churches down around 13 million, down by more than 450,000 from 2021, the largest single drop in more than 100 years. Dr. Albert Moeller, president of the Southern Baptist Theological Seminary, spoke with CBN News about the shrinking numbers. There was a time when the Southern Baptist Convention was riding the crest of a largely churched and Christianized culture in which people gain social capital by joining our churches. Well, guess what? They cash out social capital by joining our churches now. Moeller puts part of the blame on the pandemic. Part of this, quite frankly, also is the disequilibrium that came with COVID. But there's no doubt that you really found out who was with you on the other side of COVID and uh, who's going to show up to church. Warren challenges that assessment. 17 years of decline year after year after year is not a glitch. And the loss of a half a million members in a single year cannot be ignored. Some argue the decline is driven by recent revelations about the failure of leaders to handle sexual abuse cases. In 2022, an investigation of the executive committee showed a pattern of resistance to abuse claims. Charlene Aaron, CBN News. All right, thank you, Charlene. Gordon, back to you. I come from a very long line of Virginia Baptists going back two centuries. And uh, in, in the early days of the Baptists in, in Virginia, you didn't gain any social capital by going to that church. You lost a ton of it. The way to get advanced in the Commonwealth of Virginia, the colony of Virginia in that period of time, was to join the Church of England, to become an Anglican. That was the path forward for them to turn against that and be Baptists on the, on the basis of their sincere belief that you have to make an informed decision that's essential to conversion. That's why we call them Baptists. You get adult baptism. They went to jail for that. Uh, and we need that kind of spirit again to say, we're not here for a social club. We're not here to, to join to get social capital. We're here to serve a living Savior and serve him to the best of our ability and under the dictates of our conscience. We need that. That's the basis of all revival, and we need it desperately in America today. 